So my friends, this is Nick Logan. This is one of the first videos, one of the most important videos in the Blogging for Beginners series is how to write your first post. And we talked about in the last video what's the difference between a post and a page. In general, your pages are static pages that, you know, your contact information or a specific, uh, you know, page that you want to promote. They're easily accessible across the, the top bar, and I'll show you that in just a second. Posts are updated daily or, you know, current events, things you want to teach, inform, uh, current events, I said, and entertaining, uh, different things that you want to talk about. So what we're going to talk about is how to, number one, what to talk about, adding text, adding pics and videos, and then just publishing your first post. So we'll make this a short video. So just take a look at this blog post. You know, if you have all of your, you know, just words on your page, it's not that appealing of a blog post that people won't necessarily want to read. So you want to add some pictures, you want to add video, you don't necessarily have to add video to everyone, but I would at least add a picture to every single video. So you can put bold text, you can uh, make some titles here. So today I'm just going to talk about um, adding text, adding a little bit of picture, and I'll go into detail in future videos about uh, adding pictures and adding video. So really, you just log into your WordPress back office. So I'm here in my WordPress, and you have posts and you have pages. Again, we talked about posts and pages in the previous video, but just real quick, let's look at another blog here. This is nickloganTV.com. Across the top here are specific pages that I want people to go to, so they're static, meaning they're not changing. I, uh, of course, I can always go back and change those, but in general, these are very specific things that I want people to take note of. But for, for today, we're talking about how to write a blog post. And every day that you write a blog post, that new blog post will show up on your home page, and your other blog post will show up behind that. So this is a second, second blog post on the home page. So in general, you just go posts, add new, And you want to give it a title. I'm going to say blogging for beginners. Adding your first post. Blog post. Now I'll get into some keyword research later on of why that happens. But what you notice here is that this permalink down here, this permalink shows up. And it'll be, you know, your your blog.com forward slash the title of your post. So it's important to have keywords in your title, keywords in your first sentence, keywords in your last sentence, and keywords throughout. But I'm not covering keywords today. I'm just covering how to add text. One thing that is very important in a WordPress blog is there's two tabs right here. There's the visual tab and then there's the text tab. Text tab is for uh, HTML type of stuff. Uh, it's there, whatever you type on both of these pages will show up, but when you add text, you're going to use a little bit of HTML, which is a little bit more advanced, and I'm not going to cover that quite yet, but I will cover this. Let's just talk about the visual tab today. The importance of this is if you are, say in the future, you are adding HTML and you add HTML to this. This is um, to make your header big. It's just H, H2, um, how to make my header big and I'm using HTML here this is HTML and this is HTML don't worry about this right now but the only thing is that's important here is if you're adding HTML to the visual tab it's gonna look like that when you publish it this HTML will be hidden when you publish if you put this HTML on the text tab so Basically, you don't want any HTML on the, the visual tab. We're just going to work with the visual tab today. So I type. you can type whatever you want in this portion here. So let's type up a couple things. And you can, here's a little tip. A lot of people I see, they type like five, six, seven, eight, nine sentences. That's fine if you're typing up an English paper. They teach you in, you know, sophomore English in high school to write five to six sentences per paragraph. In the blogging world, you want to keep your sentences to two or three sentences. 
it's okay to have white space. And a matter of fact, it looks better if you have white space. Notice here I have two sentences, two sentences, three sentences. Every once in a while I have a longer one. But in general, this white space is good. No one wants to look at a blog that just, it's all words right down the page. So to keep this short, that's some very easy stuff. So let's say I want to bold something. So let's say I want to bold whatever. I just highlight that and hit the little B right here and that bolds that sentence. If I want to italicize something, I just hit this little I and that'll italicize something. This is something I didn't know for quite a long time. It's called block quote. So let's say I'm doing a quote from Zig Ziglar. Um, if you help enough people get what, what they want, you can have everything you want. I would, this is a very specific quote that I want to make visually appealing. So this is by Zig Ziglar and I'm just going to put the block quote on that. What that does, okay, so I pulled up a, a blog post, what is your perfect day? You see here I have some text, I've written some things out, it looks normal. Um, right down here I wanted to highlight this with a block quote, so I said my life has changed significantly over the last 60 days due to actually following through on this one simple step. It kind of pops it out there and it puts that little block quote on there and that's how I did that right here. I just highlighted the thing I wanted to quote and I just hit the little block quote right there. Um, if you want to add like a, a list of something, so let's say I want to do step one, step two, step three. All I did is hit the, hit the one, two, three, and I'm typing up whatever I want to put there. And if I'm done typing up my, um, my steps, you notice how it went down to four when I did this. Let's say I don't have a fourth step, you just hit enter again. So that's a way to um, add numbers. You can add um, an unordered list, so just regular bullets. And I just added these bullets here. Adding bullet one, adding bullet two, etc. So it's, it's pretty simple. So we were gonna talk about just adding text um, adding a picture. What I want to do in the next video is I want to talk specifically about adding a picture to this, this blog post. And there's a couple steps to that, so I'm going to make a separate video out of it. But in general, you want to have some text. You want to make it look appealing, adding some bold, adding some uh, italicized stuff, adding a block quote. And all of that stuff that we did is right there. One more thing I want to talk about is let's say you got you're talking about a specific article. Let's say I want to link to someone else's article. All you do is let's go over to okay, so I found this article on the web and I want to reference it in my blog post. I just highlight it in you know the URL here, you know, copy and paste. So I do a command C on a Mac, but I don't know if you have a PC or Mac, you know how to copy. You go back to your blog post. So having multiple tabs open. So I can highlight whatever word I want. Highlight whatever words I want. I can highlight those and I can go to this little chain link fence thing. It says insert edit link. Now I just copied this URL right over here. Uh, my favorite two methods for attracting an avalanche of abundance. Come back over to your blog post and then just paste it right in there and just hat add link. You notice how it's underlined and it's a little bit bluish purple. When this is published, when people click on that link, it'll take them to whatever page you wanted to send them to. In this instance, it's going to take them to this other article. So that, that comes in handy when you want to send people to a, a lead capture page or a specific article that you want to reference them to. That's just a great tip for adding your post. You know, within five minutes, I'm showing you how to do your first blog post. Typing up text, adding bold, adding uh, italics, um, adding, you know, bullets, adding a numbered list, adding a block quote, and adding a link. Uh, there's other things up here like having your text go left. So if I want this to be on the left side, I highlight that. And it's a block quote, so I can't do that. Um, let's say I want to center this. 
So I can go right here to the align center and it'll go center. If I want to align the left, it'll go left. If I want to align it right, it'll go right. I never use align right. I don't know why you would. I use align left and align center. Um, it automatically aligns it left unless you tell it. So some other things I want to cover, and you can have a complete blog post, is how to add a picture and how to add a video. We'll do that in the next video here. And you've done your first blog post to make it visually appealing, to make it people actually want to watch it. The last thing here, you can save this draft and come back for it later. So I just hit save draft. And this is not public to the world at this point. So I can leave and come back to this. So I already saved my draft. I go to all posts and I go back to blogging for beginners, adding your first blog post. And I go in here and say edit. So I went over here to post, all posts. I pick the one I want and I can go back and edit. You can even edit posts that you have published already. I have not published this one. If I want to publish this, I go just go down to this blue button and hit publish. So there's some more things to blog posts, like categories and putting tags, tags and keywords so people can find your posts better on the internet. I'm not going to cover that in this video. In the next video, I'm going to cover how to add a picture and some details with that.